and welcome back to my channel and today i wanted to talk a little bit about talk about churches i wanted to talk about people in need so i wanted to start first of all with these churches now a lot of times these churches have these building funds and they go on and on and you're constantly giving into this building fund and when really a lot of times these people have big enough churches that they don't even need to build another bigger church. So a lot of times there's these building funds going on when it's not actually necessary. And there's homeless people in their neighborhoods and there's homeless people in their churches and there's hungry people in their neighborhoods and there's hungry people in their churches and they're not addressing what's going on with the people in their own communities. Also, they tend to say, well, we're giving money to Africa and we're giving money to these different places and we're building schools in these different places, which is okay and it's good to do that. But the problem is, how do you ignore the people that's right under your nose? How do you ignore the people that's right in your face? A lot of these churches won't even open up a homeless shelter. They won't open it, they won't allow the people to come into the sanctuary to sleep at night, and they won't allow people into their basements, basements to sleep. And a lot of these churches are so big that they have more than enough space, they have more than enough food, they have more than enough anything and everything. So that's what I want to talk about is these churches that could be doing a lot more for people and they're not doing that in the bible when they used to bring the tithes into the storehouse they would bring it and they would distribute whatever it is that was 10 percent that they brought in they would distribute it amongst all of the members of the church and we're not seeing that going on in the churches today there's nothing being distributed amongst God's people. Now, the church, they'll say, well, we're not responsible for everybody that's in, these, in this church that is in need. What I say to you is, how are you not? These people are your members. These, God has you to be the shepherd over these people. Make sure you have a pantry for these people. Make sure that you have a shelter for people. Now, some churches don't even want people in a church if they don't got money. And that's not right. I think about the poor man and the rich man in the Bible. When the rich man, he wouldn't, wouldn't give the poor man any food. And when he died, he raised his eyes in hell. God does not like this. God does not like what's going on. I feel like it's good to help other people in different countries. But when you have people that's in your own church that's in need. And when you have people in your own neighborhoods that's in need. And you're not offering anything. And you know that you have abundance of everything. And you're not distributing anything amongst the people. That's a problem. Also, a lot of times people will come to the people in the church and they'll say, Can I have just $100 for this or for that? And the church will tell them no. Churches have got to make a change this is not acceptable this is not acceptable also i wanted to talk about when people give to charity now there's a lot of rich people and they won't just go and hand somebody something on the street somebody that's hurting somebody that's poor somebody that's homeless they won't hand them money but they'll give to charity and a lot of times when they give to charity the people don't even wind up getting the money. So there's a lot of places that people are giving to and they're stealing money. 
So it's not actually getting to the people that need it. Another thing too that I want to talk about is if you see somebody on the street and they have a sign up and they're saying like, need food, I'm hungry. You don't just pass that person up on the street and be like, oh, well, I think this person is probably just a drug addict and this person probably is an alcoholic. So I'm not giving this person anything because I don't know what they're doing. First of all, you're passing up somebody that has a sign that says they're hungry. How do you know that they're not hungry? This person could be starving right now and you're passing this person up saying, I think that they're a drug addict. Once you give that person some money to buy themselves some food, what difference does it make? After that, you know what you did. You know that you did right. You know that you did something good. Now, if they take that money and they go buy drugs with it, there was no way you knowing that that person lied to you. And now that's on them. But you did a good thing by not passing somebody up that said that they're hungry. Now, back to these churches, y'all. It's like they constantly have a building fund going, raising offerings for different things that's not even appropriate. Um, they'll say, well, I want to raise an offering for my nephew because I'm sending my nephew off to college. Everybody give $100 to send my nephew to college. Well, okay. Well, then in that case, if you're going to do that, then make a uh, some type of fundraiser to where you giving to everybody's grandkids in the church to get through college then do a fundraiser where you're helping teenagers to send them all to college that's in your church also i find that a lot of these churches the the preachers have their entire family on the payroll so they're Putting their entire family on the payroll, paying them thousands of dollars, $5,000 a month, whatever number they want to come up with. And they will have their entire family on the payroll. And nobody else can be on the payroll. They've been working hard in the church. I mean, we all, of course, we doing it for God, but people still have bills. Some people is working in a church and they're getting just paid cash and they don't get check stubs to where you can actually go purchase something you know you need check stubs for for houses for cars you need a check stub so they don't do that and then they don't pay you as much as you're worth a lot of people have been to college they have degrees in certain things and the church isn't paying them what they could get paid somewhere else for the same type of work that they went to college for and it's not right so what i wanted to say as well is help somebody in your church help somebody in your neighborhood it's okay to reach out and help Africa because that's a wonderful thing to do. But if you're going to help Africa, help the people in your church too that's sitting right there under you. The people that are supporting you and working for you can't come to church and have a, 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 a gathering after church. A lot of these churches don't want... Uh, people in the basement eating after church. Now, I went to a church where every Sunday after church, they had a big banquet downstairs in the basement. They would have a lot of food for everybody after service. And a lot of times it was free. What I just like to is when churches come up with all of these bake sales, everything is selling something like church is just a business and we just made church a business a, a a place of business and 
it's like can you just bake something and just give it to the members out of love you know can you just do something to show love within your own church family and y'all that's all i wanted to say because i feel like how can some of these preachers live so far above their members and think that that's okay how do you live so far above your members and how do you take up offerings for other relatives within your family and there's people in your church that might need some help so a lot of these churches have their entire family on the payroll and another person that's working every day in a church that has a degree you want them to just volunteer to me that doesn't make any sense and also when i see like 80 year old women catching a bus or or even or even an old man standing at the bus stop to get to church your church doesn't have a church van and if you see these older people that's catching buses to get to church, why can't they catch a ride with you? Or why can't the church raise money and say, oh, we're going to buy mother such and such a car. So y'all give an offering because we're buying mother such and such a car. Why don't we see that when we get to church? And also, why does everybody have to dress a certain way now i know y'all now i know some people be doing too much when they come to church you, of course you ain't supposed to have dresses that's too high too tight whatever we all know that but what i'm trying to say is some people don't go to church on a regular, so they just wear whatever they have. And then they get to church and they feel uncomfortable. And they don't want to come back. Churches shouldn't make people feel uncomfortable when they get there. A lot of people are, are just trying to get to God and they're just trying to get to God. And... A lot of people is running out people and because of, of they're not dressed a certain way and running people out and they're just newly saved Christians and running people out and saying oh well this person is somebody that person isn't somebody and we're gonna run this person as somebody with the money up front like what the Bible says and this person you stay in the back And it's not right. So I want people to realize that you can't just be scattering God's sheep everywhere. You can't just scatter sheep. And when people stop coming to the church, call them. Find out why they haven't been back. Find out is there any way that you can bring them back. And a lot of times people put other people out of their churches. How can you put anybody out of your church and feel like okay with what you just did before God? How do you feel okay behind that? When there's people that's in your church that's living with friends, that's living with relatives, they don't even have their own place to stay, and you're living in these million dollar homes is that what okay? i saw on facebook was people sharing different churches that were allowing people to come in as a shelter on really really cold days and they were trying to help other people so everybody was just sharing these different churches on their facebook pages that were giving shelter to people and it's like these churches should always be giving shelter, not just on really, really cold days. So what I wanted to say is don't let other people discourage you or keep you out of church, even though 
uh, it's a lot of stuff that goes on in some churches. I'm not saying all churches, but don't let that discourage you. Just go to church for God and thumbs this video up, like and subscribe, share with a friend, and God bless.